Deuteronomy chapter 18. The Levitical Kohanim, all the tribe of Lewi, shall have no portion or inheritance with Israel. They shall eat Yahweh's food offerings as their inheritance. They shall have no inheritance among their brothers. Yahweh is their inheritance, as he promised them. And this shall be the Kohanim's due from the people, from those offering a sacrifice, whether an ox or a sheep. They shall give to the Kohen the shoulder and the two cheeks and the stomach. The first fruits of your grain, of your wine, and of your oil, and the first fleece of your sheep, you shall give him. For Yahweh your Elohim has chosen him out of all your tribes to stand and minister in the name of Yahweh, him and his sons for all time. And if a Levite comes from any of your towns out of all Yisrael, where he lives, and he may come when he desires, to the place that Yahweh will choose, and ministers in the name of Yahweh his Elohim, like all his fellow Levites who stand to minister there before Yahweh, then he may have equal portions to eat, besides what he receives from the sale of his patrimony. When you come into the land that Yahweh your Elohim is giving you, you shall not learn to follow the abominable practices of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone who burns his son or his daughter as an offering, anyone who practices divination or tells fortunes or interprets omens or a sorcerer or a charmer or medium or a necromancer or one who inquires of the dead. For whoever does these things is an abomination to Yahweh. And because of these abominations, Yahweh your Elohim is driving them out before you. You shall be blameless before Yahweh your Elohim. For these nations which you are about to dispossess, listen to fortune tellers and to diviners. But as for you, Yahweh your Elohim has not allowed you to do this. Yahweh your Elohim will raise up for you a Navi, like me from among you, from your brothers. It is to him you shall listen, just as you desired of Yahweh your Elohim at Horeb on the day of the assembly, when you said, Let me not hear again the voice of Yahweh my Elohim, or see this great fire any more, lest I die. And Yahweh said to me, They are right in what they have spoken. I will raise up for them a Navi like you from among their brothers, and I will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak to them all that I command him. And whoever will not listen to my words that he shall speak in my name, I myself will require it of him. But the Navi who presumes to speak a word in my name that I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other else, that same Navi shall die. And if you say in your heart, how we may know the word that Yahweh has not spoken? When a Navi speaks in the name of Yahweh, if the word does not come to pass or come true, that is a word that Yahweh has not spoken. The Navi has spoken it presumptuously. You need not be afraid of him. Amen.